Hello and thank you so much for joining me in today's presentation in pediatrics and pediatrics nursing. Today we're going to discuss HIV and AIDS and the following our set of objective. So we have objective number one, which is define HIV and AIDS. Objective number two, state the five ways through which HIV infection can be transmitted. Objective number three, state the five complications of HIV and AIDS. Then objective number four, explain the five preventive measures of HIV and AIDS. Then objective number five, describe the management of HIV and AIDS. Let us begin with objective number one, which is the definition for HIV and AIDS. So HIV basically stands for human immunodeficiency virus, which causes the disease AIDS by a lowered functioning of the immune system. Then AIDS stands for acquired immune deficiency syndrome so this is as a result of hiv infection which is massive that it destroys a large number of the immune system processes and leads the patient having multiple opportunistic infections resulting in illnesses such as chronic diarrhea persistent fever weight loss anemia and also a typical rash let us now discuss objective number two, which is the five ways through which HIV infection is transmitted. So the following are some of the modes of transmission. So we have number one, unprotected sexual intercourse. Then number two, blood transfusion with an infected blood. Then we have organo transplant with infected organs. Then we have contact with an infected body fluids through broken skin or open wounds. Then another way or mode by which HIV transmitted is accidental or intentional sharing of injection equipment with an infected person. The other mode is parental or mother-to-child transmission, which usually occurs during pregnancy or during delivery and also after delivery through breast milk. Last mode of transmission in today's discussion is contact with an infected equipment and also materials such as contaminated needles, syringes, or blades. Let us now discuss objective number three, which is the complications of HIV and AIDS. So the complications as follows. We have number one, pulmonary tuberculosis. Number two, atypical aseptic meningitis. Number three, acute encephalitis. Then we have number four, which is autonomic neuropathy damage. Then number five, Kaposi sarcoma. From there, let us now discuss objective number four. So objective number four is the preventive measures of HIV and AIDS. So the following are some of the preventive measures. So we have number one, getting tested and treated for STDs. We have number two, limiting your number of sexual partners. Number three, using condoms every time you have sex. Then number four, choose less risky sexual behaviors. Then number five, getting tested for HIV and AIDS. Then lastly, but not the least, talking to your healthcare provider about pre-exposure uh, prophylaxis. Then we can also include avoiding sharing of um, injections in cases where one is administering drugs or any other form of injection. Let us now discuss the management of HIV and AIDS. So when you're going to discuss the management, our main focus in today's discussion is basically the medical management. So the following are some of the drugs which you can administer when you're writing the management. So we have number one, Zidovidine. So Zidovidine is an antiretroviral uh, drug. So you can also include uh, Lumavidine. Lumavidine is also an antiretroviral drug. Then you can administer also efavirenz, so it is also an antiretroviral drug. Then you can also administer abacava, so abacava is also used in the management of HIV and AIDS. So these are not the only drugs that can be administered when you're writing your management um, in relation to your exams or your tests. So there are also other drugs you might also incorporate when you're writing the management. In relation to nursing care, you can apply the normal eprofinema, which includes the environment. Then you can also include your observation, the psychological care, the nutrition, the fluid and electrolytes. Then we also have the prevention of infection, elimination, exercise, maintaining a clear airway, health education, 
so those are some of the components that should not be missed when you're writing your management so this marks the end of today's discussion if you have any questions or any contribution you can leave them down below in the comment section otherwise this marks the end and have an amazing day